Most butterflies don't migrate. They overwinter in the area, and we'll see them, you know, once things warm up, we'll see them all season long. Uh, particularly these tiger swallowtails, we always have tons of these around. And they're big, they're showy, they're a lot of fun to watch. And uh, it's something that we can enjoy all year. Uh, we've got one right here on the butterfly bush, which they love. But we have so many of these things around, you know, they almost become like pets. Uh, Mary Pat has kind of adopted them, as you can see. Uh, they'll let you pick them up sometimes, and, and they're pretty interesting. But they're here all year, but uh, we just don't see every butterfly all year. Other butterflies, like the monarch here, or like the red admiral butterfly, migrate. And we'll see a few of them early in the season, but things really heat up at the end of August and going into September when the migration gets going. During the migration, Mexican sunflowers are powerful attractants for monarchs and for other butterflies, but they are the number one monarch attraction. And once the migration gets going, uh, we generally find our Mexican sunflower bushes just loaded with monarchs, and they just can't resist it. Um, and the Mexican sunflower's Latin name is Tithonia if you're more comfortable looking it up that way. But if you plant a few of these, believe me, once the migration gets going, your yard will be full of butterflies. And generally, you'll have multiple butterflies on the same plant uh, at the same time. It, it really brings them in. Of course, monarchs get all the attention, but they're not the only migrating butterfly here in central Pennsylvania. And my actual favorite, which I think is beautiful, it's not quite as big as the monarch, is the Red Admiral. Uh, I think it's just striking with the orange and white against the dark background of its wings. And it's, it's kind of a furry looking guy. Uh, just incredibly neat. And at this time of year, we get a bunch of them coming through the yard, which, which would be early September, because they migrate to Texas each year and we're on their flight path and they are very much attracted to the good old butterfly bush as you can see right here now, during the uh, the migration thousands of butterflies are close to your home but if you want to actually bring them into your yard you need the right attractants for them and without a doubt the number one attractant is the Mexican sunflower and uh, this is a big gaudy plant it'll, it'll grow to six or seven feet high uh, with beautiful blooms all over it and they bloom continuously for for a couple of months until the cold weather takes them out and they're a huge favorite of all sorts of butterflies uh, they they're loved by monarchs of course they're monarchs favorite food but pretty much all butterflies love them um, whether it's silver skippers like this guy here or swallowtails or fritillaries uh, they're a big hit with just about any butterfly that's going to come in your yard but without a doubt they are huge favorites of the monarchs and if you plant them you are going to get monarchs I can guarantee it the other great plant that's an attractant for butterflies whether they're butterflies that overwinter or they're migrating butterflies it doesn't matter, is the humble butterfly bush, uh, which goes by the Latin name of Budleia. And the tiny flowers on, on this plant really seem to attract butterflies of every type. And if you plant a few of these and a few Mexican sunflowers, I can pretty much guarantee that you are going to have more butterflies than you can handle whether it's the overwintering ones or some of these beautiful migrators like the red admiral over here uh, butterfly bush is going to definitely bring them in well once again i hope you've enjoyed mary pat's gorgeous photography in my video uh, i'm going to close off with some of mary pat's pictures of butterfly caterpillars of, of which we have plenty around here and um, hopefully we'll see you next time uh, maybe some more birds so, until then, bye.